I'm Tom Grisham, and there's nothing quite like the Empire Fight Camp, especially at night. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters, this is just one of those things. It's time for our tale of the tape. Amir King Khan tipping the scales at 140 pounds, and he's got that reach of 71 inches. And he'll be facing Amir King Khan, 63 kilos even. That's what he weighed in at, 174 centimeters tall with a reach of 180. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. This is one of those classic fights that everybody wants to see. Amir Khan, he's Bolton's finest. Watch for those hands tonight. They are as fast as they come. And it's the king, Amir King Khan, one of the finest fighters Britain's ever produced. Olympic silver medalist in 2004, multi-time world champion, fighting out of Bolton, UK. Ah, oh, pure bad blood. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Bolton, England. Here is the Olympic silver medalist, one of Britain's youngest ever professional world champion, a unified 140-pound champion of the world, introducing Amir King Khan. Fighting out of the blue corner from Bolton, England. Here is the Olympic silver medalist, one of Britain's youngest ever professional world champion, a unified 140-pound champion of the world, introducing Amir King Khan. They'll be fighting under the lights tonight. What a unique environment as we get set for this high-energy showdown. The fans are getting desperate. They want to get involved in this fight, and now... The action's about to begin. Under the bright lights here for this one, really good matchup, and we're hoping for a really good fight. And there's the bell to start the round. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. The jab doesn't quite connect. You've heard of people dancing underneath the moonlight tonight? It's a fight underneath the moonlight, and what a fight it should be. It's been a long, long day, Todd. They've been drinking, they've been out in the sun, they've been having a good time, but this is what they've been waiting for. This crowd can be very unpredictable, and by the sense of it, it's nighttime now. They're waiting. They're waiting for the big fight. There's a lot of pressure on these fighters' shoulders to get that job done and perform. That right hook catching air. A big whiff with the right hook. This fighter's always on their toes, trying to get their opponent rattled, get them off kilter, get them out of their rhythm. Do not give an outside fighter time to think. You've got to make the fighter panic. You've got to rush the fighter into doing things they don't normally do. You gotta like what you're seeing as you reach the halfway point of this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I gotta respect both of them more than happy. Nice idea, and that hook lands. How about that tight counter shot? Good job defending the jab. This fighter is all about finesse, using a lot of angles and lateral movement. This is what makes outside fighters so good. Their footwork is second to none. This is tough for Zaxxons. Straight right, just 
just misses. It's all offense all the time. This round still up for Braz with just 10 seconds to go. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. All right, three, four, and stupid. All right, don't worry about the knockdown. Don't worry about the tough round. And relax. Breathe and relax. Right, this next round, I just want you to keep moving. Don't take any clean shots. And every time he gets close, tie him up, grab a hold of him. Good. Right, in this next round, I want you to get through the round. Just get through the round. Keep moving. Keep moving. Don't take any clean shots. And every round, just get through this round. Get on the end of the jab. Keep step. Ice. This next round, I just want you to get through the rounds. Just want you to just get through the round. Don't get close. Tie him up. Grab a hold of him. Good. Right. Next round. Keep on the end of the jab and keep stepping. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up as we get set to jump back in the action. Tie him up. Grab hold of him. Right. This next round, I just want you to. And We're hoping for an all action slugfest. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Unlike the heavier fighters, these fighters throw so many punches, it's hard to keep up. Both men step back for just a moment. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. You can tell one of these fighters is starting to fade. What does he need to do to get back in this contest? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. We're at the halfway point, and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. You gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. <laughs> Who's willing to go where the other fighter won't? Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. you just got to put in a guess. He throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. When are we gonna see a jab from these two? You'd like to see more jabs. Despite what the judges scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Count to the jab, count to that jab. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Wow, it's like two different leagues. It's now important now that in the first minute of the next round, you get on top of him. Keep him big. Look at him. He's absolutely knackered, mate. He's knackered. Don't win. Don't let him get back into the fight. Come on. You got this. Don't let him up. Next round, you get on top of him. Keep him busy with that job. Working behind him. Don't get that confidence. He's going to be stressing about his gas tank. Now, keep whacking him to the body. Every time he takes a big, deep breath, 
Bang one downstairs. Just jab him downstairs, stop him from getting that big deep confidence. He's going to be stressing out his gas tank now. Keep whacking him. The fight is now important now that in the first minute of the next round... Big deep breath. Bang him downstairs. Jab him downstairs. Stop him. Shots him. Don't let him get back into the fight. Come on. You got this. It's so important now that in the first minute of this next round... The referee calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather. Get back into this fight. Come on, you got this. Don't let him off the hook. They ring the bell, and here we go. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Good counter punch. Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What do you see him so far? We have a fight that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed. It's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Beautiful counter punch. He's putting the pedal to the metal, but has to be careful that he doesn't run out of gas. So close to that uppercut. Well, just a couple rounds left, Johnny. What's your assessment so far? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, we're now we're gonna find out. His stamina is off the charts. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one's dead to anything out of turn. The stamina is off the charts. Well, you know, in this division, we're going to see a lot of combinations, a lot of counter punching. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. <laughs> Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punch is better. Both men step back for just a moment. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Down he goes! What an upset this could be as Khan is down! I don't care how good your chin is. A punch like that, and you're going down. I've got to see that again. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. To make or break a fighter. Absolutely gone. He's on his last legs. Don't let him back into the fight. It's not important now. Mate, he's shattered. Come on, look across at him. Look at him now. Work behind the jab and then get your shots in. Don't... It's, it's so important now that in the first minute of this next round, you get on top of him. Just keep on top of him and don't let him back into the fight. Don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be stressing about his gas tank. Now keep whacking him to the body. Every time, he takes a big deep breath. Bang. Don't let him get back into the fight. Don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be... He's on his last legs. Don't let him back into the fight. Take away that air. Every time you see him get a big deep breath, bang him down. Keep him busy with a jab. Work behind the jab. And then get your shots in. Don't let him get back into this fight. It's so and that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. Don't let him back into the fight. Don't... Work him behind the jab and then let your shots go. 
Don't let him get back into this fight. Come on. And there's the bell to start the round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle, man. He's got a, he's got a bluffer. And he scores with the counter. Here we go with the lightweights. Get ready to see some blazing hand speed and fancy footwork. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. You'd like to see more jabs. Nice exchange here from both men. Well, Johnny, it's still early on, but what do you think about what we're seeing so far? Now, you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. <laughs> Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Halfway through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. And they drop their guard and get caught. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them nonstop. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get him close. <laughs> Threw the hook, didn't land. <laughs> Do you believe this? Beautiful counterpunch. Deciding to let it all hang out here in this round. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Even bit look at him. He's absolutely knackered, mate. He's knackered. Just don't let him get back into the fight. Come on, you got this. Don't let him up. Confidence. He's going to be stretching out his gas tank now. Keep whacking into the body. And get that confidence. He's going to be stressing about his gas tank. Now keep whacking into the body every time. He takes a big deep breath. Bang one downstairs. Just jab him downstairs, stop him from getting that big deep to this fight. It's so important now that in the first minute of this next round... The fight is now important now that in the first minute of the next round... ...and then let your shots go. Don't let him get back into this fight. Come on, you got the shots in. Don't let him get back into the fight. Come on, you got this. Back into the fight. Don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be... The referee calling for seconds out as we get set to jump back in the action. Pressing about his gas tank. Every time you see him get a big deep breath, Bang him downstairs. Jab him downstairs. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Uh -huh. 
Straight right, just misses. Keep on top of him. That uppercut misses. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Here we go with these two lightning quick lightweights. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. That counter shot lands. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's running it. Oh boy, Amir Khan, dazed. Trying to buy time. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. Straight right, just misses. They exchange punches. Can't land the jab there. He needs to be careful not to punch himself out. Incredible work rate. Amir Khan in some real trouble. Didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged. Defense, defense, defense. This is not how the story was supposed to go for Amir Khan. Very close round. Amir Khan is rocked. Canvas. Wow, that impact was incredible. Let's take another look at it. Where did that come from? What a shot. One, two, three, four, five. Are you okay? You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be we just saw. You're being put down. You've got to think right. Survive and then give it back the next round. It's now important now. Nate's in shattered. Come on. Look across at him. Look at him now. Work behind the jab and then get your shots in. Don't. It's, it's so important now that in the first minute of this next round, you get on top of it. Just keep on top of him and don't let him back into the fight. Don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be stressing about his gas tank. Now keep whacking him to the body. Every time he takes a big deep breath, bang. Don't let him get back into the fight. Don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be... He's on his last legs. Don't let him back into the fight. Taking away that air. Every time you see him get a big deep breath, bang him down. Keep busy with a jab. Work behind the jab. And then get your shots in. Don't let him get back into this fight. It's so time winding down as we get set for another round. On top of him and don't let him back into the fight. Don't Work him behind the jab and then let your shots go. Don't let him get back into this fight. Come on. Back. They ring the bell, and here we go. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. You know, with lightweights, these guys are going to be lightning quick. Let me explain to you about a fast fight, a fast fight that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom. In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. They need to be careful and punch themselves out. Amir Khan backing up. He settled back 
10, but needs to play some defense. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What do they do? What do they tell him when he goes to the corner? How are they going to get through this? Well done with that counter shot. Well done with that counter shot. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Well, Johnny, you know, in the lightweight division, they've got fast hands, so get ready to see some lightning. This is about ego. Get your ego in check, Todd, because if you fight a man that is used to doing this, he's confident and comfortable doing this, why are you giving him that chance to dance that dance? Step out of the way, box him. Frustrate him, because if you let him get away with it, he'll close you down. He threw a punch and just got countered. Good shot, good shot. His legs are gone. His legs are gone. That's it. The straight right just misses. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. <laughs> Missing with the hook. Is he going to punch himself? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Look at him. He's absolutely knackered, mate. He's knackered. Just don't let him get back into the fight. Come on, you got this. Follow him up. Confidence is going to be stressing out his gas tank now. Keep whacking him to the body. Don't get that confidence. He's going to be stressing about his gas tank. Now keep whacking him to the body. Every time he takes a big deep breath, bang one downstairs. Just jab him downstairs, stop him from getting that big deep. To this fight is so important now that in the first minute of this next round. The fight is now important now that in the first minute of the next round. Jab and then let your shots go. Don't let him get back into this fight. Come on, you got the shots in. Don't let him get back into the fight. Come on, you got this. Back into the fight. Don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be. The referee calling for seconds out. Right back into the action. He's going to be stressing about his gas tank. Every time you see him get a big deep breath, bang him downstairs, jab him downstairs. And there's the bell to start the round. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Both men step back for just a moment. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punch is better. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. The nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. <laughs> Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. The only fear you have with this fighter is has he punched himself out? Catch and 
shoot. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. His stamina is off the charts. You'd like to see more jabs. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. That hook was off target. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're gonna get it. Kitchen sink. He's shattered. Come on. Look across at him. Look at him now. Work behind the jab and then get your shots in. Don't. It's, it's so important now that in the first minute of this next round, you get on top of him. Just keep on top of him and don't let him back into the fight. Don't let him get that confidence. He's gonna be stressing about his gas tank. Now keep whacking him to the body. Every time he takes a big deep breath, bang. Don't let him get back into the fight. Don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be... He's on his last legs. Don't let him back into the fight. Take away that air. Every time you see him get a big deep breath, bang him down. Keep him busy with a jab. Work behind the jab. And then get your shots in. Don't let him get back into this fight. It's so Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather right back into the action. Him behind the jab and then let your shots go. Don't let him get back into this fight. Come on. They ring the bell, and here we go. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. In this division, both fighters will constantly be on their toes trying to punch and counterpunch. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Is he going to punch himself out, though? <laughs> Holding nothing back here in the round. Blistering hand speed from both of these outstanding lightweights. What can they change? They can change their attitude, they can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. <clears throat> Can they figure out the combination to this safe? They need to be careful they don't punch themselves out here. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Jab. Oh boy, Amir Khan, dazed. And it appears they weathered the storm. Now I'm not sure. What caught sleeping on the job? What do you do? You step back. Steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. That counter shot land. You can see the heavy breathing, but that's not slowing him down. When are we going to see a jab from these two? This fighter expending a lot of energy in this round. What heart, what desire, but at what cost? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one.
So two judges are in agreement, but that's all you need in this game. A majority decision win. Todd, you are right. We don't see this that often. But when we do, we really remember it. And this is one of those fights. Majority decision. I agree. You agree. The fans agree. Sorry, am I talking for you? All right, that's enough. Okay, you agree.